open the Photoshop application, click on File on the menu, click on Open, scroll down to locate your file which you want to work on, select it and click Open. After that, you go to your layer panel and rename the layer where you have background, rename it and change its name to Guy. After doing that, you also create another new layer. For you to do that, you move your mouse to the bottom part of your screen. You find a place called Create New Layer. After creating the new layer, you rename the new layer and call it BG. BG. After that, you drag it beneath the one you named Guy. Move to your tools. On your gradient, you right click and select the bucket paint tool. On your front color tool, you change its color to a color that suits your own taste. You click OK. After that, you move your mouse on your document and left click on it. The color fills the white, the new layer. After that, you move your mouse to background layer. Right click on it on the tool here. Yeah, you select it. You make sure you set your tool the way I have it on my screen. But you have to take note of your tolerance. Your tolerance should depend on the image you are working on. My tolerance might not be as the same of the might not be of the same. Depends on the image you are working on. I'm setting mine on 63 but with time i'll be changing the tolerance to different percentage to suit the removal of the hair region of the image i have on my screen here so i'm zooming i'm zooming in into the image i will go to my brush increase the size of the brush after increasing the size of the brush uh, to a reasonable size I select outside I now start making selection on the layer where I have guy making the selection if you notice the selection is going well the yellow is not on top of the hair or rather behind the hair so I'll take my time make the selection uh -huh. we can go back reduce my tolerance after doing that, zoom out, make that selection. After that, I'll change my tool to magic one. I left click on the empty space of my of my picture. After that, zoom in again. Select the space in between the hand to remove the white background. After that, I move the mouse and right click on a rectangular micro tool make my selection after making my selection of the part I want to remove I hit my delete key after hitting my delete key go back to selection on the menu and hit my deselect to deselect the rectangular micro tool now I put, pick my move tool select my new layer called the BG at the down part of my panel I have the layer adjustment panel I right click and select on my holes and saturation, adjust my holes and saturation to change my background color to different color of my, of what I want. I can change it to a yellow color, to any color of my choice. After that, if I want, I now choose to turn it off. Turn off the background layer and the holes and saturation. You notice that we have a transparent background so if you want from this part you can now select a background of your choice thank you for watching this video make sure you hit on that subscribe button to get notification whenever we give brings up another new updates on our channel